What do we got? We have a cocktail. Ooh, we like cocktails. We do. We do. It's from the fine folks in Milton, Delaware. They're very good friends. Yes, yes, yes. Dogfish Head Distillery. Mm-hmm. And this is a vodka lemonade with strawberry and what is that? Honey, honey bear? Honey berries. Honey berries. I'm honey, a honey bear. I'm like, wait a minute, that's something else. Honey berries. I'm thinking Huggy Bear. That's Darcy no, Hutch. No. Not Antonio Fargas. No, no. No. Anyway. No. Anyway. So, yes, we've had their cocktails before. We have. I'm not saying we like them all, but we liked a lot of them. And I do recall liking their ones. lemonade. Yes. And uh, this is now the strawberry honeyberry lemonade. Yes. So we'll see. So I'm going to pour, I'm going to crack read, it open. I'll read pour. a little bit. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Scratch made using our vodka distilled with strawberries and honeyberries. Wait, what is a honeyberry? I don't know. Oh, wait, I'm telling you. Sorry. They're like a cross between a raspberry and a blueberry. Rasp? A raspberry and a blueberry. Is that like a rasputin berry? <laughs> it's a rasp. Rasp. I like to pronounce the P. Rasp. It's a raspberry and a blueberry. Uh-huh. Inspired by Sam's visit to his friend's honeyberry farm in coastal Maine. The scratch made cocktail features our vodka distilled with honeyberries, macerated strawberries, and blended with our house made lemonade. Hmm. Okay. It is 7% ABV, and it is available everywhere except like 10 or 11 states. Okay. All right. Sounds good. I won't read tasting notes because that would lead the witness. It would. It would. So, we don't like to do that. All right. So. Cheers. Cheers. It's a little cloudy. It's got a little... Oh, it looks like a lemonade. That smells nice. I think I smelled like, I smelled like the strawberries and the berries coming nice, off it. Yeah. It's a little jammy. Mm, it is. It's a jammy, jammy, jammy drink. Yeah, it smells like strawberry jam, doesn't it? Now, I don't know what a honey berry, yeah. a honey berry smells like. That's I right. imagine like honey. Uh, between a raspberry and a blueberry. It's right. in between. So, so where's the honey part of it? I, maybe it's a honey color. I don't know. I don't know either. All right, let's go in. That's nice and sweet. You and think it's a little, sweet? And then a little tart on the back end. Um, I'm not going to say That's sweet, nice. but I think it's very berry nice. forward. You get a lot of the berries. Nice. And you know what, though, you were saying about the raspberry? I'm getting yeah. more of raspberry yeah. than strawberry. Sorry, yeah. You know? And then the lemon kicks in. Yeah. No, it's good. That's, That's pretty good. That's refreshing. Wait, but then, and then, I get a little blueberry. That's refreshing. Funny how that works. Yeah. Funny how that works. Or unless it's all just in my head. One or the other. Well, That's pretty good. And that goes Between the easy. voices. No. Well, no wonder. That don't even get me started with the voices. That, uh, that's nice. Mm. Boy, that's refreshing. Mm-hmm. Oh. Now, I'm a little surprised they'd send you this now. Because to me, this is summertime. Uh, but hey, why not now? Yeah, I'm okay with that. It can be now too. I'm okay with that. I mean, but this you know, would be this would be a great summer drink. It's a nice palate cleanser. Yeah, you know, like a nice intermezzo cocktail. Yeah. How about that? In the between middle, all the, the middle courses. of the meal. Yeah, yeah, that would be nice. Middle of the meal. I mean, you have a sorbet, it's right? It's your sorbet. Yeah, it's my sorbet, liquid it's sorbet. sorbet. Maybe you pour it over some crushed ice. That's nice. You know, and you just do it that way. And and you don't really taste the alcohol. Yeah, that's the, that's Which, the trouble. Which I don't know if that's a good or a bad. It's seven percent. Yeah, seven percent. But it's uh, it's nice. Yeah, but you compound them. Though. That's it's crisp. Problem. It's refreshing. You compound them. Like you said, it goes down pretty easy. I mean, it's alcohol by volume, yeah. right? So you got to drink a lot of it to get that seven yeah, yeah, percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, you can have two, three of these pretty quickly. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, it's really good. I go like a, I go a B plus on this one. Yeah, yeah. We've had a, a number of these kinds of canned cocktails, and I think Dwarfish Head makes a very nice one. I they think do. Their, their vodka base is pretty good. Yes. And they're uh, they're a little. Um, forward thinking, or perhaps off-centered thinking. <laughs> their, exactly, an off-centered ideas, cocktail. With their ideas that they uh, they come up with some interesting flavors. Yeah, yeah, that's good. It's really well done. It is very good. So yeah. thank you to Dogfish Head and our dear friend Megan Bales for once again thinking of us and sending us a little care package. Yeah. We also have three beers that we're going to get to right now, but I figured this would be a good start. I think you're. I think you're right. Good yeah. start. So, all right, folks. Cheers. <laughs>